Okay, today I've been asked a lot of questions about painting on the sprue, so we're going to show some of the reasons why I paint on the sprue. One of the things that about painting on the sprue is I can test a lot of things before I actually put it to the miniatures. You're going to see a lot of that and a lot of the techniques that I really haven't shown on camera. I'm going to explain to you and I'm going to do on the sprue. That way there's a better understanding of why I do some of the stuff that I do. The second reason why I do it is because I feel that it's a lot easier. It's easier to get the fine details that a lot of people are looking for in their miniatures. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to paint rust. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that we can paint rust and use that on one of my miniatures. So let's get right to it. Now for the first one, I wanted to do, do it like what, how I do it in the old school. So what I did was I had a white area and I mixed chestnut ink with a little bit of red gore. Now you can see some of the inherent problems with using inks. They don't like to stay where they normally should. An easy way around that is to take a little bit of PVA glue, mix that in with it. and it'll actually stay a lot better. Now on white, this will actually give it the type of rust-like effect that I want, but it has to be painted white to do that. And because this area is already painted and I don't want to go over that, that was an idea that I decided not to go with. So instead I'm going to go with using all regular paints. Now the first thing that I want to do in this case is I'm going to paint a little bit of Chaos Black in the area where I want to have the rust. Now one of the reasons why I'm adding rust to, the, to this section of the backpack is there's already a couple of little bumps in there. This is going to give it a reason to have those bumps. Now it doesn't matter if I go too far out with the black because I can always just sure it up afterwards and paint, repaint around it, which I'm going to do anyway. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of scorched brown. Now in between each step you want to give the area an actual time to dry. But since this is primarily dried, I'm going to take the brown and I'm going to try to cover up almost all the black areas that are there. What I'm further going to do is take vomit brown and I'm going to cover up about 90% of the area. I'm going to leave a little bit of the other brown there. but only enough so that it shows through. I will then move on to red gore. Now basically I only want enough on the tip of my brush that when I dab it on there it's really not going to spread out too much. Now from red gore, I'm going to go to fiery orange, sorry, blazing orange. Now again in this case, I want to have very little on, on my brush. So when I dab a little bit on my brush, I'm actually going to wipe it off on a cloth so I have very little. Now I'm just going to touch, the, touch up the area. Now in this case, it looks fairly decent, but not quite good enough for what I want. So I'm going to go back to the scorched brown and basically do the same thing. I, I want to have just enough that when I touch it, very, very little actually goes on here. Now you can do as many layers back and forth as what you want. In fact, the more layers, 
the better it's going to look. It's also going to give you a slight 3D effect. Now, of course, you always want to have a reason why a Space Marine isn't fully taking care of his gear. So in this case, maybe there's a shell fragment, maybe he had a bullet hit. It's just enough that it looks like damage done to it and the surrounding area is starting to rust. And there we have our rusted area on the armor. You can do this with anything that you want, weapons, swords, chaos is great to have rust on. It, if you're doing it on white, especially buildings, you want to have rusted buildings, the ink weight works real well, covers a piece in almost no time flat. But when I'm doing it over the paint, this way it works a lot better.